Hey everybody. So if you saw the most recent Leo roundtable, we talked a little bit uh, briefly about the Federal Reserve uh, asset balance asset sheet versus uh, the S and P five hundred. And I was making the point that you know if you look at the the COVID crash in March, that you know basically the Federal Reserve created a whole bunch of money, and that money went into assets, you know, the stock assets primarily. So that um, if you look at on a, on an adjusted basis of the S&P, compare that to the Federal Reserve balance sheet, then you'll see that there's basically been no growth. And uh, on, on the call, Cal asked me about uh, 2008, and I didn't have that data ready. So, uh, and it didn't work. Uh, b based on the uh, the length of time that the St. Louis Fred database had available for the data, so I was what I had to do was you know reconstruct it manually. So I went ahead and did that. I downloaded the uh, the Federal Reserve uh, balance sheet numbers going back to uh, 2002, and then the um... <laughs> And then the uh, I downloaded from Yahoo Finance the, the weekly closes of the uh, S and P five hundred, and then so this is the the Federal Reserve numbers, and then this is the S and P numbers, and then here's a ratio, you know S P X divided by Federal Reserve assets. So uh, when you plot those out by date, you get a chart which looks like this. So this is the March COVID crash, and it's showing the S&P declining relative to the Federal Reserve balance sheet. And uh, then they started printing up the money. And you can see that there's been a slight recovery, but really not much. And so, you know, what, what that tells us is that, uh, you know, so the Federal Reserve created money. It went to the primary dealers uh, in the Federal Reserve system, which is, you know, Bank of America, Chase, and all those. And then they turned around and did something with the money. What did they do? Well, we know that in, in dollar terms that the S&P 500 you know, shot way back up. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, over here. So let's zoom out a little bit. So you know, the, the S&P 500 you know, shot right back up. We had our V-shaped recovery, right? And where did that money come from? Well, here's where it came from because in in Federal Reserve terms, it's gone up barely at all. So uh, so Cal was asking me about 2008, and this obviously right here is 2008. So we're still <laughs> back where we were uh, 12 years ago, basically, where um, you know the the S&P 500 has grown in in nominal terms, in dollar terms, but it has not grown uh, from any kind of you know real growth. It's all been, you know, fueled by, by uh, money printing, essentially. And so, you know, a lot of people don't understand how the, how the Federal Reserve System uh, actually works and how it creates money. So here's a 10 second overview of how it works. Um, government creates a bond. Uh, it needs to borrow from the market. Primary dealers come in and buy bonds, you know, uh, for dollars. So dollars transfer from primary dealers and go to the government bond goes from the government to the uh to the primary dealers primary dealers turn around take that bond and then sell it to the federal reserve in exchange for newly created dollars so that three-step process is how those newly created dollars enter the banking system now what they do from there varies right maybe they loan it out as a as mortgage and and credit cards and car loans and you know, business loans and all those kinds of things, or maybe they put it into their into their uh, into their uh, you know, trading divisions, and you know buy up the you know the S and P, or maybe they extend the line of credit to a hedge fund and the hedge fund go, turns around and buys up the market. So you know, there's there's multiple different things, but what we're seeing is that you know a large portion of it is going into asset markets like stocks and bonds and, and all that kind of stuff because. You know, that's, that's what's fueling the whole thing. Now we did have a run here, you know, after QE uh, uh, ended basically, that, you know, prices were rising and the Federal Reserve was not having to print, you know, more and more money to support it. So uh, we had some, you know, if you want to call it organic growth, you, you could do that. And then that was all wiped out by COVID basically. And, and now we're, we're back in the same grind that we've been in since 2008. So 12 years of that. <laughs> 
so, I mean, this is actually important to know because, you know, if you, if you go back to, to 2008 and you look at the, the official inflation calculator, uh, I think it's at BLS, uh, US inflation. Whoops. Let's see if my, my browser will work. Uh, calculator. Ba, ba, ba. So 2000 US inflation calculator, CPI inflation calculator. So this is BLS data. So using in the government's own numbers. Um, if we had $100 in uh, January of 2008, 2008 to October 2020, so basically uh, we've lost 23% uh, purchasing power since then. Now, the market's gone up, you know, well, more than 23%. Uh, let's see. If we go to a monthly chart... We can see that, okay, so here was 1571. So over double, you know, the market's gone up, you know, in, in nominal terms. So you can see that the market has been accelerating since then, well past official inflation rates. And a lot of that is fueled by Federal Reserve uh, created money. So this is why you have to be in markets and because otherwise you're going to lose ground compared to everything else. Uh, people who are, uh, you know, just saving dollars, you know, in a bank account, that's just, it's just insanity because you're going backwards. And, and this is, this is the mechanism by which you are going backwards. So, uh, you know, if you listen to Robert Kiyosaki, he talks a lot about how savers are losers. And this is what he's talking about. So, you know, if you, if you save money, uh, then, and, and literally just take it from whatever income source and put it into a savings account of some type, then you're, you're, you're always going to lose because of the way the monetary system works. So you have to get into inflation adjusted things, whether that's the market, whether that's uh, maybe gold, maybe that's crypto, uh, maybe that's real estate. It, it has to do something. So uh, that's, that's uh, where all that comes from. So, you know, we're still, we're still stuck in the mire that we've had for, 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 I want to say forever, but not forever, but since 20, 2008, um, and uh, you know, got to make sure that your money is put to work in whatever, uh, in it, whatever that means to you. Anyway, hope that helps. We'll talk to you next time.